So what's a relationship budget? For those of you who have dated, <laughs> I feel sorry for those who haven't. For those of you who have dated, for those of you who are married, for those of you who've had a companion of sorts, you guys understand that money is a make or break. It's a deal breaker in many relationships. It's one of the major reasons that people get divorced even. Money, financial issues. So what's a relationship budget? A relationship budget is all the money that you spend that you wouldn't spend if you weren't dating someone. So yesterday I was in a conversation and the conversation was around at which point do you start discussing money with someone that you're with? Do you talk about money before you guys start dating? Do you talk about money right after you start dating? Do you talk about money before things are about to get serious? Or do you only discuss money the day you guys want to move in together or get married? And you find that a lot of people get very, very frustrated because we don't know each other's financial lanes. So I might have expectations that you'll buy me all these fancy things because we're now dating, but you maybe don't have the money. And because you're not buying me those things, I won't tell you it's because you don't have the money. I'll find any other excuse or any other reason to start fights with you, to be frustrated. And it will be, no, we're just not compatible. We just don't like the same things. No, when I asked that we go to the movies, you made excuses. And the issue is not really, really what we're fighting about. The issue is actually about money. So my suggestion is that before you date someone, even on your own, without even dating, without even thinking about someone else, think about what your relationship budget is. I think a really good rule of thumb is maybe 5 to 10% of your monthly income. So if you're earning 10,000 Rand, that would be anything from uh, 50, ooh, 50 Rand. <laughs> no, 500 Rand to 1,000 Rand a month. You're emitting shy today. Um, so if you're earning 10,000 Rand, it's anything from 500 Rand to 1,000 Rand a month. And this includes things like going to the movies, going on dinner dates, going on breakfasts, traveling somewhere nice, entries to clubs that you guys go together. And it includes other things like paying for her, her hair, taking her to a spa, paying for her nails. And for ladies, it's things like, and a lot of people don't consider these things, driving to and from this guy's place. If you ever call him all the time, that airtime, that data that you're using, all those things become part of the relationship budget. You may not realize money you're spending on the other person. You're like, oh, I don't spend money on my person. But you travel to and from them almost every day. You buy data and airtime to call them all the time. When you guys go out together, you pay for the bills. All those things accumulate. So what's your relationship budget? Communicate this with everyone so that people kind of know your financial lane. And you don't have to expose how much you're earning. You don't have to expose what your financial obligations are. You're just telling a person, look, I'm a 2,000 rand a month relationship mjolo person. So if you want to be with me, understand that that's all I have. Anything over and above that will be cutting into other money that I don't have. So we can only do two movies a month. We can only get away once a month. We can only do dinner dates three times a month or whatever the case may be. And the other person brings their relationship budget to you. And you guys can use this money together to build a healthy relationship. You know which restaurants to go to. You know where you can't go to. You know how much money you can spend and what your limits are. Dangit.